Oh, and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you that how you can read Toyota Corolla cars and Toyota Corolla hybrid cars defect codes and for that job we need OPD scanner first this connector and if you have a little bit better you dip this device then you can read also Toyota's these codes and let's go to install this scanner in position. This test really starts so that there is this my scanner and firstly I have to turn on this my car. This is first step that I press brake pedal and now engine is ready for run. Okay good. And now when power is on we can check that power is on then I have to connect this my OPD scanner and there is this my scanner and there is port it is in here this white one and in that area I connect this my scanner excellent and now my scanner start to work and we can look these results in here okay and it is good that engine is running like in my case in this Toyota hybrid car and then I select this OPD, there are those buttons and diagnostic and we look at what we can see and there is really codes found here and again enter button and read code and code is defined by manufacturer and in my case I can go to look in Toyota Toyota things, there is Toyota and my code is P3190 and in, and in that case it is not in this my device thing and I have to check this error in internet and I will inform soon that what it is this Toyota's defect code and it is interesting that there is no any error lights in there but there is some code and I will check this my code next in Google search okay and now when I am reading that what is this code P3190 Toyota and there is to so many possible courses that uh, when we look that there is a defective throttle body, defective engine, defective mass air flow, okay, and really many issues, okay. And now I have to investigate my Toyota more, but this was this code and interesting P31. 90 okay from google search and let's continue my friend in next 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 movie that issue and next i am planning to show you that how to replace this toyota corolla hybrid cars muff sensor this is mass air flow sensor in fuel injection system okay and this sensor is really in here and we need for that job now Phillips head screwdriver and let's go to open firstly this connector what is in here and let's look closer at that area okay and first step is to take out this connector and this connector opens so that I have to press that side in here and then this pull up and then move in back in say say same way in this way an idea is to press this switch in here that way and now it's open excellent and then I need 12 sorry Phillips head screws screwdriver okay and now I have Phillips head screw scribe, screwdriver and I installed this my 
screwdriver in here. I rotate that screw away in that way carefully. And then next screw. And there's two screws, normal screw, uh, actually they are specific screws what are made for that purpose. And next one thing is, and next one is that I have to carefully lift that up. This goes only in one way in here. And there is this MUF sensor. And what we need to check is that let's go to look this area closer. Okay, and then what we need to check in this sensor. This is really critical. In that area in here, that area, there is this sensor element in here. And this area must to be clean in where that hole. We can see this mass airflow sensor in here. And if this is dirty or sandy or dusty in your case, then you have to clean this area with this carburetor cleaner or mass airflow sensor cleaning spray. And this sensor, this small cable in here, what we can see, this must to be so clean than my one. And then we look that even closer this part. Okay, and now we have really nice view. And really this in inside part, this must to be so clean in like my case. And also this outer element, it must to be similar. Clean air goes through that hole in here and then outside in here. And there is also air hole in here. And there is this information that maker, it is Hitachi and Toyota part. And, and there is this product code in here. And this is really original part, but maker is Hitachi from Japan. And really, this area must be so clean, so like in my case. This is the point. And if this is dirty and full of sand and dusty, then our car, it won't and it don't work well. It like hesitates and is slow, slow reaction in gas. Okay, very nice. And there are those cables in, cables in their inside, those sensor cables in here. We can see in there. Good. And this is really important part in our car. Okay, thank you. And then check also that there is small gasket in that area, that this is fine and in good condition, because this area must to be in sealed. There is this black gasket in there, in here. Okay, and then we install this part back. Okay, and then we install this part back, and this really goes in that area only in one way, and I install this my connector in up, and there was two those screws, and install these screws carefully because there is risk that we can damage this plastic base. That one, this can be, this is plastic and soft, and that's do not over tight these. Only so much that it goes like in end, in this way. This is good. And then second screw also in here. And so deep that it takes contact and then it is it goes nicely. And final part is to install this connector and listen this click, click sound. Good. And now this job is ready and we can be happy.